Hello and welcome to the Scientology Money Project on YouTube with your host, Jeffrey Augustine. I want to share with you my experiences today. I was in the courtroom when Scientologist Danny Masterson was found guilty of two counts of forcible rape. Of course, the jury uh, hung on a third count. Uh, it was very tense today at court. About 10.30, there were two buzzes from the jury, uh, and we got a note from... Uh, the court clerk that we were to come back at one thirty, when the attorneys would come back as well. That means the prosecutor and Danny Masterson's legal team didn't know what to read all along. I had a feeling that the jury was going to convict on two and hang on a third. That was, that was my gut feeling uh, based on the trial on the retrial, shall I say? So we came back at one uh, thirty. The hallway was jam-packed. They didn't open the, the door to the courtroom at, at 1.30 exactly, but the court the courtroom was jam-packed. Uh, I was standing about 10 feet from Denny Masterson. He looked nervous. He looked very scared. Uh, his wife, Bijou, was being comforted by her brother-in-law, Billy Baldwin. So the entire Masterson clan was there. Media, Quite a bit of media was there, including Tony Ortega. So when they opened the courtroom, uh, the media interfered, and they filled the entire back aisle. There were at least 25 media there. Uh, and then they were letting small groups in. I was able to get a seat because I, I, I'd been there. And um, it was very tense. It was so tense. And that's what I wanted to emphasize. I was sitting where I could watch Danny Masterson. I made sure I got a seat where I could watch his reactions. And so the Masterson clan was seated, the media was seated, and the, the court watchers, such as myself, were seated. I was in the uh, third row. Uh, the judge enters, and uh, we're all waiting. And uh, so the judge announces to us in the court that the jury has reached verdict on two of the charges and has uh, hung on one of the charges. And before we had let in, she had talked to the attorneys who came in a few minutes before the, the public and the media, and they had some discussions, and they all agreed to, you know, go forward, go forward with the case. That means, um, except that there were two verdicts, and there's one that obviously is going to be a mistrial. So both sides, uh, defense and, and, and prosecution, agreed to this. So there was some legal stipulations to this. Uh, the jury's called in. Everyone rises, and the jury takes their seats. Uh, Judge Almiro asks uh, the jury if, for the forms, you know, and uh, the foreperson hands the envelope to the bailiff, and she takes it over to the judge who's reading it. And at this point, just to let you know, there, there are five L.A. County Sheriff's deputies in the courtroom. There's a few by the door of the court, and there's several surrounding uh, Danny Masterson, the uh, criminal defendant. So there's, like I said, the tension is palpable. Um, the judge reads the jury the jury verdicts and hands them to the court clerk, Robert, who, who reads them. And it happens all very quickly. And this is at uh, 1 50 PM today, May 31st, 2023 department 105 first verdict guilty. And the jury finds that there was more than one victim. And that told me there's going to be, of course, another guilty. He reads the second guilty with more than one victim. And Danny Masterson's demeanor changed. And what I observed, there was a silent rage, absolutely silent rage. He was enraged. He didn't look crushed. He looked enraged. His entire life of privilege, I'm special, I'll beat the charges, was crushed. He was angry. It was really, really angry. 
Bijou was sobbing, his wife, and Judge Almeida said, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to compose yourself. You're going to have to leave. She did. Uh, Judge Almeida then pulled the jury about if you do more work, can you come to a finding on the third verdict? Are you still hung? And they said no. And the jury foreperson, she said that um, it was eight for guilty, four for not guilty on the third count. She said on May 18, it was three guilty, three not guilty, six abstentions. Then it was five, three, three, five, seven, seven, five, until it, on the 31st today, when they came in after the weekend, it was still eight, four, eight guilty, four not guilty. So the judge declared a mistrial on that. Now, what happened when the verdicts announced, the judge orders the defendant, now convicted criminal, Daniel Peter Masterson, to be remanded into the custody of the L.A. Sheriff's Department. The deputy next to him instructs him to rise. He puts his hands behind his jacket. He's wearing a blue suit. And this was very symbolic. The Latina deputy, a woman, handcuffed him. And I thought that was so fitting for Danny Masterson's victims that a woman deputy put him in handcuffs. And I can say this now, what I've been wanting to say for a long time, but I couldn't. But that criminal son of a bitch, Danny Masterson, is going away to prison for a very long time. He was handcuffed. He sat back down. The judge, as I said, ordered him remanded into custody. She exonerated the bail, which means bail's not needed anymore because you've been convicted. You're not out on bail. You're not convicted. You are going to jail. You are going to prison for a long time. Philip Cohen, Masterson's attorney, of course, has to do this. It's perfunctory at this point. It's not going to work, but it has to be done. He stands up and he says, Your Honor, in view of the fact that the crimes happened so long ago and now Mr. Masterson is older, we would ask for a house arrest 24-7 with an ankle bracelet. Prosecutor Reinhold Mueller says, The people object due to the seriousness of the felony crimes of which the defendant has been convicted. We want him remanded into custody. The judge says she rules. She finds that Danny Masterson is a flight risk and he's a danger to the community. And that's the right ruling. He is a flight risk. He belongs to a transnational, what I consider to be a transnational criminal syndicate masquerading as the Church of Scientology International. They could get him out of the country easily. He could get himself out of the country, ankle bracelet or not. He's not going to have any of it. And he is a danger to the community. As proven by the fact he's been convicted of two forcible rapes, he is a danger to the community. So the deputies, Mr. Masterson rises from the chair. They take him behind the door. And in the door, when you go back, they shut it. And what happens is the, um, the, def the, def the now convicted Danny Masterson will be put in a holding cell temporarily. So he's handcuffed in the holding cell behind the door. The Masterson clan, his family, they are shocked. They are just shocked. His mother Carol's crying. Obviously his wife Bijou. They're all shocked. They're stunned. My impression was they seemed to have thought Danny was walking today, that he would get out of this, and he didn't. That didn't happen. So they're shocked. Um, Errol Anson uh, and uh, Reinhold Mueller, the, they leave the courtroom right away. And Sean Hawley, I noticed, had tears in her eyes. I think it was out of sympathy for Bijou and not Danny. But Masterson's legal team was shaken to the core, just absolutely shaken to the core, like they couldn't believe it. Philip Cohen was stunned. I mean, he you never know what's going to happen on a criminal trail, and he had just lost 
the biggest trial of his life, the biggest, most high profile trial of his life, he just lost. So the judge said, let's set some dates for motions because obviously Cohen's going to file for a new trial. He's going to file every motion he can. That's just goes with it. So <laughs> what happens next? Danny Masterson will be processed today at the LA Criminal Court. They have a, they'll take him down the elevator. He'll be processed. That means strip search, orange jumpsuit. And they'll do an inventory of his personal possessions and, and you know, put those in bags. They'll do an inventory. And he will be, at the end of the day, when the jail bus is getting ready to leave, he will be handcuffed in front of him, manacled at his feet. And there's a chain that runs between the manacles of the feet and the handcuffs, and he'll shuffle out to the jail bus with the other inmates. And he'll go to men's LA Men's Central Jail. He'll be held there probably in solitary confinement because he is a celebrity has been convicted. So he becomes somewhat of a target in jail. They'll keep him there through sentencing and through these motions. And in um, California state prison system, they'll have to find a bed for him. And he'll go to a maximum security prison because of the sentence of uh, the sentence he's been given is so long and the crimes of which he's been sentenced are violent in nature. They're rape. And one thing about California state prisons, the lowest forms of life in California prisons are what they call chomos or child molesters and rapists. In general population, it's a very bad thing to be. Masterson may very, very well ask for protective custody to be sent to the special uh, protective custody or PC rather than general population because he has a lot to be afraid of. Inmates don't like sex criminals or pedophiles. So his future is very black. Something I wanted to share. This was from my blog, The Scientology Mini Project, a few years ago. Okay, now this was dated May 22, 2021. This was from an old magazine interview Danny Masterson did in Paper Mag. And his quote was uh, on L. Ron Hubbard. Quote, he's a fucking guy who wrote some awesome shit that I love studying. Well, we can see uh, that this did Danny Masterson no good. That was all a lie. Scientology didn't do anything except give him a sense of entitlement and that he could drug and rape women and they would cover up for him. And that's why I said he had a sense of silent rage as if he were entitled as if he should be protected by Scientology's private mafia, the Office of Special Affairs. And if you remember back to this disgusting photo, first day of the first trial, Danny Masterson tweeted, had the most beautiful Uber driver drop me off at school today. That infuriated me when he put that out. He wasn't taking it seriously. He thought it was a joke. He didn't realize he was on the trail for his life, and he lost. There was a PI in the hallway from Scientology. I recognized him. He asked me what I thought would happen before court, acting like he wasn't a PI, just some court watcher. And I said, they, I, said I think David Miscavige's boy, Danny Masterson, is going to go away to prison. He goes, oh, okay, we'll see. Yeah, and we saw, we saw what happened. I'm grateful that the legal system worked, that two of Masterson's victims got justice. All three of them should have. That's the jury system. But I did watch Danny Masterson be handcuffed by a female sheriff, and I did watch the deputies take him away. And tonight, he's going to go to L.A., men central jail probably go in solitary cell and they'll slam the door he'll get two bologna sandwiches and an apple that's it he belongs in prison for a long time because he's a monster and i was glad to see justice done 
And I'm grateful for all the hard work of the attorneys, everyone who's helped who's helped in this case, but especially Reinhold Mueller and Ariel Anson, who fought so hard and believed so hard in the case, brought it back to retail. Judge Almedo did a great job, a great job because she's anticipating Philip Cohen filing an appeal. She footnoted everything meticulously. Outstanding judge. This should shake Scientology's celebrity center to the core. It should shake David Matt Miscavige to the core. This means you're not above the law. You're not getting away. All that shit they pulled when he destroyed documents in the Paris case. They made documents disappear in Belgium. All that stuff they do to get away, it didn't work. And coming up next, there's another case I'm going to be at. And that's the case next week, the evidentiary hearing about how Vicky Paparesky wound up with L.A. District Attorney documents. So I'll be covering that as well. So justice was done today, and I was glad to see it. And I will post um, some links in the show notes to some articles on this. So thank you for listening. Again, Jeffrey Augustine for Scientology Money Project on YouTube.